What's up, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description, along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So I'm making this new video out of request from a lot of my commenters asking where they can find max level T51 power armor. Now I'm going to be showing you a total of 15 different locations. Some of them are going to be pretty easy to get to, some of them are pretty tough. The thing to remember though is the T-51 is not guaranteed to spawn here. It could easily be the T-45 or the T-60. So this is going to require a little bit of grinding on your part and possibly even server hopping. As I was shooting this video, I also came across a couple of interesting legendary weapons. So if you're on PC, I'm going to be giving you guys a chance to get those weapons from me. Sorry for console folks, I just play PC. Regardless of what platform you're on though, I hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, be sure to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you hit that bell, you'll be the first to be notified anytime I have new uploads. And with all that being said, let's get started. So the first place I'm going to take you is called the Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. It's just east of White Springs and the Blackwater Mines that I showed you not too long ago. These, uh, this area's got some low-level enemies, so you can come here like around level 30 if you wanted to. <clears throat> but the cool thing about this is there's going to be a, a bunch of mods here as well. Uh, starting with this location, there's going to be a mod that might spawn. And if you go right into the shack next to it, there's going to be two more mods that could spawn. One on this shelving unit and one on the shelving unit down on the, the lower floor. And these are going to be random, so it's going to be different every time you come here. Aside from those mods, there could also be a spawn for a magazine right here on the top of this 55-gallon drum. So a lot of other goodies here. Aside from that, if we go out of this building and head a little bit higher up this little hill, there's going to be another shack. You will have to have lockpicking skills to get in here. In this case, the door is open. But there's going to be two more mods that could spawn here. One for this one, which is T45, one on the top shelf. And there could also be a bobblehead that spawns right next to these uh, 55 gallon drums as well. So a lot of goodies aside from the power armor that we're going to find here. Once we've scouted that area out, all those things out, let's go inside to the main building, which is right inside this tin can looking thing. Uh, inside here, we're going to find our power armor. We also have the ability to find a fusion core, another magazine, and another bobblehead. So a lot of goodies here. All right, so now what you guys came here for is the power armor. When we first get inside, all we gotta do is hang right into this little area, and the power armor should be chilling right here. Now in this case, it's T60, but this could be any power armor. I will say though, I have seen this max level most of the time, but there was one occasion where I seen it wasn't max level. Since you're here, you might as well find a plan that's sitting on that countertop and a fusion core that could be inside this generator right here. Uh, aside from that, there's an office just around the bend here where I've found some magazines sitting on the, the desktop. Uh, I actually found a really cool magazine called Atomic Command and it's another one of those Pip-Boy video games. So you got the chance of getting some awesome magazines here. Uh, once you continue down here, you're going to find a couple of more interesting things. There's going to be this forklift chilling right here, and I found a bobblehead chilling on this forklift a couple of times here. Another interesting note is if you keep heading down this little corridor, this mine, you will find a death claw that spawns. In this case, it just so happened to be a level 3 legendary, which I've had it happen a couple of times, but not every time. Uh, for this particular legendary, I found this Stalker's Laser Pistol. So I don't personally use laser pistols myself, but let's take a quick look at this. For those of you that might be interested and are on PC, if this weapon interests you, be the first to type in Stalker's Laser Pistol into the comments. And I'll be happy to meet up with you in-game, and that'll be your new laser pistol. Sorry again if you guys are on console, but I simply play PC and we don't have any cross-platform playing right now. And that's it for this area. Let's go ahead and move on to our second area for this power armor set. So our second location is going to be just southwest from this area. It's called Solomon's Pond. And this is a pretty low level area. Once again, I usually only found mole rats and some of those uh, mongrel dogs hanging around in this area. When you first spawn in, you'll see a red shack right here. And I have found a magazine that's chilling on the top of this crate if you're interested in those magazines. But if you head out, there's this little, I guess this is like a water pump or some sort of generator. And you're gonna see the next set of power armor here. In this case, we got T60 spawning again for us. But another easy level, in this case, we got rabid wolves. 
uh, low-level enemies here, so it's easy to grab up. All right, so the third spot we're going to go to is just northeast of where we started off at. It's called the National Isolated Radio Array, I believe is what it's called. Uh, so this is going to be full of usually super mutants is what I find here. I mean, the enemies could vary, but I don't recall seeing anything other than super mutants. So it could be a little bit of a tougher fight. First thing we need to do is go into this yellow building because we are going to need a key in order to access this next power armor. And since we're in here, let's go ahead and take a right. And inside this busted up computer is going to be a cap stash. You guys know how much I love caps. And since I know how much you guys love bobbleheads, let's go ahead and head upstairs real quick. Because chilling on the roof, we have the ability to find a bobblehead. So you should find a flight of stairs that's going to take us up to the roof. And it's only a, a two-story building, so it's not a lot of stairs. And right behind the staircase is going to be this, uh, this dude that things didn't work out so well, but we got an intelligence bobblehead in this case. Score. So with all that, let's go ahead and find that key that I told you about. Let's head back downstairs. And what we're going to need to do is get into this door right here. Now, normally this door is going to be chained from the other side. All we have to do is go upstairs, fight our way through these super mutants that I already blasted, and make our way down this busted floor. And this key is going to be chilling right here on the desk. Once we have that, we can go get our power armor. So let's head back outside. We got that giant dish there, but just to the left of the giant dish, uh, we're going to find this uh, giant shed or shack, whatever you want to call it. And as we're approaching it, if we go to the right-hand side where we have that blue semi-truck, we can just follow that side there. And right as we get along here, there's going to be a door. Now, this door right here is usually locked, and this is what we're going to need the key for to unlock it. Once we unlock that door, we're going to have access to this power armor. And in this case, you can see it is, in fact, T-51, which is what most of us are looking for. So there we go. Now that we got that, what do you say we go ahead and grab another bobblehead? Why not? It's just around the corner here. If we go up these stairs, you look on this shelf, you have the, op uh, you have the possibility of finding a bobblehead. In this case, we've got a sneak one. And if that doesn't work out for you, well, we got one more bobblehead in the area. Let's head kind of towards that, uh, that dish. And if we just run through the parking lot here and down the road, we're going to find ourselves another bobblehead. And there's probably a whole bunch of other things that I haven't found in this area too. But if we look onto this little control panel, we got a bobblehead, in this case repair. Score, not a bad pull. All right, our next area, I believe this area is number four, is going to be uh, one of those uh, red rocket stations. I believe it's called Big B's Rest Stop. Now, this is going to be a really easy one to get as well. There are going to be a few, usually some Scorched, maybe some Super Mutants, but there's not a lot of them, like maybe four or five enemies at the most here that I usually found. Right behind this uh, red rocket, though, is going to be the next uh, Power Armor set. In this case, T-51 again. Nice. Now, if you weren't aware, every red rocket station has a, your stash box there. So if you need to do some weight management, you always have the ability to do that at any red rocket. That's always a good thing to know. Now, aside from that, though, if we run over to the building right next to it, there's going to be another small little building. And there's going to be a few goodies in here. If you look on this little bookcase right here, there's going to be the ability to find some plans that, once again, of course, they're going to be random when you get in here. Uh, and hiding behind the counter, you could find a recipe. Again, random. And then right next to that is going to be a cap stash box. So, yay, more money. Now, if we run upstairs, because there's a little hole in the floor, or a staircase, I should say, uh, we have a bed, so somebody was sleeping up here. And underneath the bed, we might find a bobblehead. Cool. In this case, small guns. Uh, as well as a couple of beers and what looks like a uh, combat rifle. So somebody was having a good time up here, but mostly the bobblehead. Now, just south of the Red Rocket is a Camp Venture, which is one of those Brotherhood of Steel locations that will, you'll eventually come to if you're doing the main storyline. Uh, again, this is an easier area. There's going to be some Scorched or maybe some Ghouls, but there's not a lot of them, so it's usually pretty easy to fight your way through it, as long as you've got a decent set of power armor, which at this point you probably do. Uh, as you come through the main gates, if you hop onto the roof here, you have the potential of finding a Bobblehead. In this case, Leader, that's one of my favorites because that's an extra 5% uh, XP, so score on that. And if you go downstairs, this security gate, which is usually locked, uh, is going to have a magazine hiding underneath one of these containers. 
And aside from that, you could also find a mod under here as well. Now I did have to do a server hop for the, the armor to appear, but it does uh, does appear right here. In this case, it just so happened to spawn level 40. That happens sometimes, so if you don't find the max level that you're looking for, just log out and log back in again. All right, the sixth location that we're going to come to is called the General Steakhouse. Now this place is going to have super mutants, and sometimes there's going to be a Scorch Beast flying overhead as well. So it's starting to get a little more dangerous in this area as we, we approach the, the eastern coast or the eastern corner of the map. Uh, once we spawn in, let's go ahead and head inside the building first. What we're going to do is we're going to find a couple of sta uh, cap stashes. In this door, you're going to find one cap stash, and that's usually locked, by the way. Uh, if you come into the next room that's completely unlocked, you might find a magazine kind of hanging out between the filing cabinet and the wall. Aside from that, if you go right around the corner onto this desk, there's usually a cap stash just chilling right there in the open. Uh, let's continue through the house. You're going to find a staircase going downstairs. And again, you might find some super mutants here, so prepare for a little bit of a fight. Um, how tough of a fight just depends on how well you're armored and how good of weapons you have. Um, so heading back downstairs, we're kind of looking for like a laundry room and at the back of this room here we should find like a washer and dryer set and that washer and dryer set uh, you might find a magazine that's going to spawn there and that'll be chilling right here on what looks to be a dryer once we have that we can head out this back door this door is usually chained shut from the inside so we shouldn't have any problem opening it from the inside uh, but there's a little shed in the back here that's going to have our next set of power armor in it and that's it for the general steakhouse all right, the next location I'm going to show you is called Big Ben's Tunnel East. Uh, and the reason why I'm going here first is there's a lot of uh, power armor inside the city of Watoga. We're just going to kind of get to that here in a bit. But let's go, and go around the city first. Uh, when you spawn into Big Ben Tunnel East, there's going to be a power armor set right on the outside. In this case, T-45. Uh, in fact, in this case, T-45 and T-51. So this has got multiple power armors on there, which is very bizarre, but okay. Uh, but then after that, there's going to be another power armor set inside. So let's head inside real quick. Now inside the tunnel, there's going to be quite a few Scorch, so come prepared for a bit of a fight. Um, there's always going to be Scorched here. I've never seen anything other than Scorched. Uh, so what we're going to do is just follow the tunnel. This is a straight tunnel, so it's pretty easy not to get lost here. Uh, we're going to be following it to kind of the center. Um, in the center of this tunnel is going to be kind of a, a structure. You'll, it'll be easy to tell when you get there. Uh, so let's keep sprinting. I'm out of breath here. Um, so this is the structure that I'm talking about. And if you kind of head to the left, there's going to be a, a little corridor. And in the back here is going to be a power armor suit. In this case, T60 is what we're looking at. Now, aside from the power armor suit, there's also going to be a fusion core that could spawn here. So if it's there, go ahead and grab it up. If it's in a generator, it's always going to be at 100%. And then right where we, we came in, there's going to be a, a bobblehead that could possibly spawn. If we head back outside, if we get up to um, these little office buildings, which there's a couple of different ways up to include the jetpack, uh, there's going to be a cap stash that's hanging out in here. Now, it's supposed to be visible inside this computer, but I don't know what happens. It never wants to appear. Uh, I found shooting it helps. So if you shoot at the computer, uh, it kind of fixes it. And if you look inside the broken computer screen, you should then see the, the cap stash appear. So nothing, uh, nothing some bullets can't fix on that. And that's it for the Big Bend. All right, so our next uh, stop is just a little south of the Big Bend Tunnel East called the Lost Home. Uh, and there's going to be a couple of smaller shacks around the larger shack. And one of the, the smaller shacks, the northern small shack, uh, you could have uh, a magazine that does spawn. And if you go to the eastern small shack over here, you could find another magazine as well as a mod that's kind of hanging out on this uh, this coffee table or end table crate whatever you want to refer to it as and of course let's not forget to go back inside and find that magazine um, which is supposed to be on the chair I guess I knocked it over here in this case uh, in this case it is one of those hollow games so waste lad I haven't played this one before but this is one of those magazines where it actually gives you a pip boy video game so you can go into your items and I believe it's under hollow um, I got a few of them what did they call it waste lad Cool. So this is like a, just one of those in-game video games. In this case, it looks like a, an RPG game 
Awesome. Nice find. All right, so this is another one of those situations where I had to log out and log back in in order to get the power armor to spawn. But let's go ahead and look into the main building here, or the main... I don't know what you want to call it. The camp, I guess, uh, is where we're going to actually find the power armor unit itself. So this is where it's going to spawn, right here at the power armor station. And in this case, we got some T-45. Notice, though, that this one spawned level 35, so it's not always guaranteed to spawn max level power armor. All right, just to the southwest of that is going to be Firebase Hancock, so it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, the power armor is just going to be chilling here between these two trailers. It's really easy to get, really easy to find. There are going to be some high-level Scorch Terror, but you could probably sneak through at even a low level. All right, now let's go ahead and head inside the city of Watoga. We're going to start off with the Watoba, Watoga Civic Center. Uh, and when you first fast travel here, if you're fast traveling here, you're going to end up in this alley. And you're going to see a uh, fire escape that you can just climb up. This is going to take us to the roof of the, the Civic Center, and that's where we want to go first. Um, so as we get onto the roof, all we have to do is kind of follow this bridge and another staircase. And you're going to see that vertebird or vertebot, whatever they want to refer to it as. And right next to the vertebird is going to be our next set of power armor. Aha, we're back at T-51, which is what most of us are looking for. All right, our next location is going to be the Watoga Emergency Services. And it's just a little hospital icon here. We're going to actually want to go inside the building here. Because we do have to get to the roof, but there's no uh, fire escape or bridge that I found in order to get up there. So we actually have to go through the building in order to get there. Uh, inside the building, there's going to be a daily quest that you can get. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, like daily patrol or something like that. Um, but there's usually going to be some bad guys in here. They do vary. Sometimes they're super mutants. Sometimes they're robots. Sometimes they're scorched. Uh, it can be a bit of a tough fight for, for you if you don't have a lot of weapons on you. Um, there are some goodies inside. I haven't finished exploring this entire area. Uh, but I was able to find a couple of things. Uh, there's a uh, stash box hidden somewhere that I haven't quite located, but I can hear. Uh, but aside from that, inside this room is going to be a magazine sitting on this computer desk. Once you got the magazine, you can just head right around the, the corridor. Uh, if you follow this hall, it's going to take you right to this place that says exit, which is obviously going to be our way out. Uh, this is going to take us straight to the roof. Once we get out the uh, exit, uh, we're outside. We're just going to hang right just to the right of the door we came out. Of. It's going to spawn right here. In this case, it didn't spawn. Um, but what I'm going to show you is this mod that's also just chilling on those 55-gallon drums here. Uh, in this case, T60 calibrated shocks. That's a really awesome mod that can spawn. Another quick server hop, and we can always try it again. And what we're left with in this case is what appears to be a naked power armor set, so somebody's clearly already gotten to it. Not a surprise, this is actually more common of an area for people to grind these uh, power armor sets compared to the first sum that I showed you. Let's hop down the building, and what we're going to do is we're going to head towards this down vertebrate here, and we're going to find another power armor set that should spawn. Uh, so it's going to be right next to the back end of this vertebrate. In this case, it's naked too, so like I said, a lot of people farm this area. But that's usually nothing a server hop won't fix. You just hop onto another server, you'll find the power arm you need. In this case, T60. Now this entire city, it's constantly under control of robots. So you're going to be under attack most of the time. It is recommended to be a higher level when you're doing this area. Compared to some of the earlier uh, locations I showed you, which are pretty low level friendly. Alright, so our next location is going to be the Watoga High School. And on the roof of the high school is going to be another power armor set. Luckily, there's a, uh, a staircase going there, so we don't have to go through the building in this case. Um, but this is a great place to farm plastic, and there's an, well, there's a three-level legendary. Let's see what he's going to drop for us here. Uh, bloodied Pickaxe. Let's see. Does more damage the lower your health. Reflects 50% melee damage while blocking and 90% reduced weight. Cool. So for you PC gamers, man, let me know if you guys are interested in this weapon. The first person to chat Bloodied Pickaxe in our comments. I'll link up with you in-game and I'll hook you up with this weapon. Cool. All right, so let's go up this staircase. And uh, on the roof here, if you hang a right after you're up the staircase, there's going to be another power armor set. 
Uh, in this case, it shows T60. All right, well, right behind the power armor set should also be a mod that could possibly spawn. In this case, T60 targeting hub. Well, that goes pretty well with the, the power armor that we just picked up. All right, we got a couple of more locations here. We're going to be doing a survey camp alpha, and things are getting more and more dangerous the more we get to the southeast corner. Now we're going to be faced with some scorched uh, and uh, some scorched beast as well. But the power armor itself is pretty easy to find. It's a small camp, and there's a power armor station, and it's hanging out right there for us. And this is going to be the last station I show you. It's called Forward Station Delta, and it's pretty much the same exact situation. Uh, scorched, scorched beasts, all kinds of monsters in order to get here, so you want to be pretty high level. Uh, but it's a small location, and the, uh, the power armor set's just sitting right there in the open for us. Also, there could be a magazine that spawns right here on this coffee table, by the way. So that's it, 15 different power armor locations where you can find max level power armor, whether you're looking for the T60 or the T51. Uh, between all of those locations, you should be able to get a full set, no problem, plus all those extra goodies that I showed you along the way. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you do, please smash that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there while I showed you all these locations, and we'll see you all next time.